Hello and welcome to this different kind of video. Today I'll show you a tier list with those AI teammates, I think are the best, and those who are the worst ranked. The set I used myself during testing was my Slowbro with the Life Orb item. It has the ability own tempo, but none of the abilities can influence the battle. The moves are Iron Defense, to buff the defense three times, Nasty Plot, to buff the special attack three times, Psychic Terrain, to boost psychic type moves and stored power to basically one hit KO the Cinderace. The IVs are all hyper trained, except for attack, since stored power is a special attack. The EVs for HP and special attack are maxed out, and the remaining are on the defense. With this build and the right teammates, you should be able to one hit KO the Cinderace after the preparation. If you want a more in-depth explanation to the set, watch this video, where I got the set from. But now on to the tier list. The lowest tier is reserved for those Pokemon who are absolutely useless and if you get 3 of those you should reset the teammates, since Cinderace will kill you once you finish the preparation. One of the worst ones is Garganacle. It only has attacks and all of them are physical. Since Cinderace uses bulk up, which also boosts its defense, Garganacle does absolutely no damage. Its ability Purifying Salt has no useful properties, since it only protects Garganacle from being inflicted with status conditions. The only use it has is the speed down it inflicts with Rock Tomb, but that's probably not going to matter. So Garganacle has the lowest spot in my opinion. Not far up is Corviknight. It struggles with the same problems as Garganacle. It only has physical attacks, a useless ability and is unable to lower anything other than speed. Basically on the same place is Haxorus. It only knows two physical moves and scary face and the ability rivalry only boosts Haxorus damage. Heracross is the lowest Pokemon with an ability that improves its defense. But since it's only bulk up and Heracross doesn't survive more than one turn anyway it's useless. Its ability swarm only kicks in. Once Heracross has less than a third of its health and since it's only useful for Heracross, it's actually useless. Mudsdale's only reason for being a little bit higher up, is that it can lower Cinderace's defense with Rock Smash. Sadly it has own tempo, it had stamina it would be a bit more useful, but it would still not be enough to occupy a higher place. I struggled a bit with placing Weevil, but since its ability pressure is useless I first put it in the reset tier. But I think it matches better with the this is going to be hard tier. It has ice punch which can free Cinderace with a 30% chance and it can drop Cinderace's defense with leer, but the defense doesn't concern us anyways. Next is belly bolt. Its ability Electromorphosis boosts its next Electro attack, so it's useless FO us. Mud Shot and Light Screen are useless. The only reason keeping Belly Bolt this high is Discharge, which can paralyze Cinderace at a 30% chance. Claude Sire is also very weak. The only thing it can actually do is poison the Cinderace. There's not much else to say about it. Toxapex is the first Pokemon that actually has a use. With chilling water it can lower the Cinderace's attack. The reason for it only being in the this is going to be hard tier is, that since it's an attack it can rarely use it and the status condition it can inflict, poison, isn't useful. Gardevoir can be useful. If it gets burned by Cinderace, it automatically burns it as well due to Synchronize. Sadly that's rarely the case because Cinderace always goes for Acrobatics. Psyshock seems useful at first but since its damage is calculated using the attack's defense, it doesn't do much damage. Dazzling Gleam is much better because it's a super effective special attack. 
but the real reason why it's so high up is life due. This attack heals teammates by 25%, which enables you to complete the setup to one-shot Cinderace without holding leftovers. Sylvian is in my opinion just above Gardevoir. Thanks to Pixelate it only has super effective moves against Cinderace. Charm works same as Toxapex Chilling Water, but instead of dealing a little amount of damage it lowers Cinderace's attack by 2 stacks. The With Luck Easy tier is mainly for Pokemon that are able to inflict useful status conditions on Cinderace. If they manage to do that early it's very likely that you can finish your setup. The lowest Pokemon of this tier is Dudensparse. It can inflict paralysis with glare and if it does that early you only need Cinderace to be unable to move for one turn and you've won. Serene Grace isn't super useful, it only makes Dudensparse crit more often with Drill Run. But Hyper Drill is a completely useless move because Cinderace doesn't use Protect. Next is another Evolution. Umbreon has the same ability as Gardevoir, so it can be useful, but it probably won't be because of it. Dark Pulse can make Cinderace flinch in theory, but due to Cinderace attacking first almost always, this barely ever happens. Thunder Wave is a guaranteed paralysis if Umbreon can use it, so that's great and Psychic is great, since it has a 10% chance to lower Cinderace's special defense. Driftbloom has an ability that sounds useful at first. Aftermath usually 25% damage to the Pokemon that defeated Driftbloom. But for some reason it barely does damage against Cinderace. I think this is probably because its health is buffed and it only does 25% of a normal Cinderace's health. Either that or they specifically nerfed such attacks to make no damage. Air Slash is a useless attack. It is super effective but its physical and its secondary effect, flinching, almost never occurs. Shadow Ball is much more useful. It has a 20% chance to drop Cinderace's special defense, which is obviously great for us since we're using a special attacker. But the real reason for being this high up is Will-O-Wisp. It always burns Cinderace, and unlike Paralysis, Burn is always actually useful, since it have Cinderace's attack. First I would have put Arboliva in the reset tier. But it really grew on me. Due to Seed Sower you can never complete the setup, but at least it makes sure, you survive attacking with the Life Orb. Safeguard is useless but the other attacks are great. Both have a 10% chance to lower Cinderace's special defense, so if it does that you can one-shot again. The easy win tier only has Pokemon with Intimidate. It's clearly the most useful ability for the teammates since it acts again when they respawn, which is very often. Thanks to Intimidate you barely take damage, unless Cinderace is able to crit you. Tauros is clearly the worst of the bunch. Its attacks are garbage but it doesn't matter thanks to Intimidate. Raging Bull and Assurance are both physical attacks, so they don't really do that much. Workup buffs Toro's attack and special attack, so that's not useful as well. Arcanine is much better. It again has Intimidate to keep Cinderace's attack low. Bite and Leer are sadly useless but Flamethrower has a chance of 10% to burn Cinderace, which makes it an absolute joke. Staraptor is the absolute best teammate in my opinion. It has Intimidate but also Feather Dance, which lowers Cinderace's attack by 2 stacks. If Staraptor uses it, it cripples Cinderace even more and that without dying. Brave Bird sounds awful at first, but since AI teammates dying doesn't cost you time, it's actually great as well. It does 33% recoil of the inflicted damage, and due to having base power 120 and being super effective with stab bonus, that's a huge amount of recoil. This makes sure that Staraptor dies very often, which means, Intimidate kicks in again and again, keeping Cinderace at the lowest attack possible. Facade isn't useful at all, but in my opinion the other moves make up for it. That was the tier list explained. It's just my opinion based on the abilities and moves of the teammates. 
feel free to screenshot it and to learn it by heart. If you need a rule of thumb to decide the usefulness of your teammates remember, if Hay are intimidating they are good, if they can burn or paralyze Cinderace or are Arbaliva you need luck, else it's probably going to be hard. But don't forget, just one of the easy win tier is enough to win, but if all are from the lowest three tiers, then you are probably faster if you reset the teammates. I hope you liked this tier list and that it helps you. Thanks for watching and as always, keep grinding.